Hey guys, it's Russell back with Gwinnett Lawns in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, I'm not going to show you the sky because it's misty and kind of rainy outside, but it is Saturday, November the 5th, 2022. And on today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to repair the loose uh, gear that's in the Green Guard shoot blocker. So I want to show you guys again, if you watch my other video, um, I'll, I'll link that in the description, but basically the gear inside here is becoming worn and there is a fix for it. The, uh, the temporary tack weld I did on the inside probably made it 50% better, but that doesn't address the entire problem. So we're going to fix it now. I think I had uh, one or two people comment on my last video about, uh, did Jeremiah respond back to me? He actually did um, within a couple hours. And by the, end of the, by the end of the week, I had the repair kit in my hand. So I uh, appreciate his really fast customer service, but this is the uh, gear that we're going to be replacing. It comes with, um, couple of parts in the gasket and stuff so I very much appreciate his fast uh, service on that now it does come with a set of nice instructions actually color and yep so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this via video I'm a watch kind of guy so I think a lot of people appreciate the videos, but so the first thing that I'm going to do uh, to get this started is I'm going to go ahead and remove the actual flap here to give us some more working room. And let's uh, let me get the camera repositioned and I'll show you how to do that. All right. So this, these two nuts right here are half inch size so okay all right so next I'm going to take a wire brush and I'm going to um, because this is really really dusty and dirty I'm gonna go ahead and clean this area because we've got to take out these four tiny bolts or screws or these are not torques these are allen uh, or hex head and this is a 764th whatever you do make sure that it's square in there and that's why you want to use the wire brush all right next we need to disconnect the bolt and nut that are on the other side of the swing arm so we'll use 9 16ths i'm just going to use a wrench and a socket Okay, so I know there are two different types of swing arms that you can get. I believe this one is the late model style. So this spacer was what was over here. And then of course uh, the bolt went through. So we have to remove this swing arm right here. So what you wanna do is just, um, it won't come off just like that unless you pull this a little bit, like just spread the Spread this apart just a hair bit. And then it's enough to slide it. So you're just, I don't know, spreading it apart maybe a thousandth of an inch. So this is what the swing arm looks like. This is the updated one. It's already got the holes. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is, um, there's a keyway, which I'll show you and we need to uh, slide that collar off. All right, so what I wanted to tell you guys is that I had done something a little different in the video, and that's why you just see this picture right here. But what you wanna do is there's a tiny set screw. It's just an Allen head set screw that you will see later in the installation part of the video. But if you remove that from the collar, that portion that sticks out, you'll be able to take some screwdrivers and just kind of pop that collar off. 
instead of pressing the shaft out from the other direction. So um, just uh, watch this video in its entirety and you'll see uh, I'll give a, a, a better shot of the set screw. But that's the easiest way to actually remove the collar. Uh, I did it a different way, but I want you guys to do it the a way we remove the set screw and just pop the collar off with the uh, like two screwdrivers. All right, so I've got the motor and everything away from the uh, mower and the carriage. Now I messed up. I'm going to tell you guys something. Uh, the Woodruff key that fits in here disappeared. Thank Jesus that he sends in this parts bag. He's got a brand new Woodruff key. So, yep. So basically the way that this fit in, it just goes in just like this. This is the old one, obviously. Okay, and then the shaft sticks out like that, just pops out. And then the worm gear for the motor is right here, all right? That should be uh, not worn or nice and tight. Now, as you can see, this is the spot welds where I did, I uh, didn't hold. So that is the problem. The gear itself doesn't, the, the actual gear doesn't look worn, but as you can see, this one's nice and tight. All right, so I'm going to clean this up a little bit with some paper towels and um, then I'll grease the new gear with some good lithium based grease and we'll proceed to uh, continue on this project. All right, I want to show you very quickly while I have this clean and there's no grease on this. You can see the worm gear right there. When you put this in, okay, see it's not seated yet. You just take the, uh, the end of the shaft. Let me refocus this camera. You want to make sure that the worm gear and the teeth of this mesh, you see that? See how that meshes? All right, and there will be just the tiniest little bit of play. That's just a couple thousandths. That's called a uh, gear lash. It has to be something, but you see how tight it is. So I use uh, Rhino, Conklin's Rhino grease. Um, I suppose you could use any good quality grease but so basically I'm just going to um, squeeze some grease out I'm trying to do this and not get in the way of the camera so Okay, I'm going to say that's pretty sufficient. All right. So what I'm going to do again is I'm just going to take this shaft and put it in just like that. And then there we go. And again, just make sure that the uh, worm gear itself and the uh, gear on the uh, the main gear are meshed and you're good to go. All right, so next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna take a little pick and on the end of the shaft is this little O-ring. We're gonna be replacing that with the new one that's in the uh, bag of parts. All right, just press that down with my thumbs like that. And that's all we do on that. All right, so here's my little makeshift workbench so you guys can see it 
easier than if I was on the floor. All right, so we've got a rubber O-ring in. I just basically took this socket. This is a, a one and 13 sixteenths. You just need to get something that will hold the uh, gear stable. And then I have a just a two by four, piece of two by four right here, and it works absolutely perfectly. It holds everything level. So the directions say that we need to take the uh, plastic washer, then the metal washer, then the spring washer, and put them on the shaft. So we're going to take the plastic washer. We've got the metal washer, which is this little thin one. It goes like that. And then we've got this guy, which is called a spring washer. As you notice, it's not going over. This shaft is uh, thinner here, and then it tapers down. So what we want to do is we want to take a socket and very gently hammer that down onto the thick part of the shaft, and we can use a 15 millimeter. All right, so let's just, okay. All right. So now that's going nowhere. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that the uh, gear in there, everything's still seated. You can see how the spring washer has gone over the large part of the shaft here. All right. The hard part's done. Next, I'm gonna take our brand new gasket. And we're gonna take our back plate. Let me give this a quick wipe down. All right, now I need to take this tiny little woodruff key and put it in that slot right there. So this was what, on the old one, I actually uh, screwed up and it disappeared. So the best way to do this is it goes up like this, okay? And let me get this set in here just with finger pressure first. Okay, so it's kind of like, got it in there like that. And I'm going to take the vise. I'm just gonna leave the camera where it's at. I'm gonna take the vise and very, very, very gently just seat it in there. All right, so now when it's fully seated, hopefully this will focus. Um, this is how this lines up with the um, collar here. And we'll tap that on, but we don't want to put this on until we get the motor into the base. All right, so it was starting to sprinkle a little bit and um, we're in here in the garage. So out of all the pieces of this to do, this is where the rubber meets the road. So I'm going to take, I've got my base here. I've just got it set up on my little piece of um, a two by four. And what we've got to do is we've got to put the bolts in first. All right, so this can still move because we'll have to adjust it later, but all right, so now I'm going to take the, uh, the collar here, line it up with the shaft, the woodruff key. This may go on without a fuss. Okay, it does. It's very, if you get that woodruff key set, exactly where it's supposed to be. And this shaft is supposed to be flush. Okay, so that went on really fine. There is 
a set screw on here or in here and you're supposed to use some Loctite, I think blue Loctite. It's, it's just tiny. Okay. There it is. It looks like a, a little tick. So let me put this back in the bag. And I believe it was this, like a sixteenth of an inch. So we just put a little, little bit on there. All right, so remember that the four corresponding holes fit into this right here. And we're going to need to push this frame apart just a wee little bit like that, just enough to slip this over. All right. And then remember, we have a spacer. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and take the bolt, go ahead and get everything lined up. There we go. And then put that on there like that. All right. And then I'm going to use our four brand new Allen head screws, bolts. I'm gonna put Loctite on those. Everything's centered. All right, so everything is done. I want to show you how nice and see that thing is just as taut as can be now. No movement. Tight as a drum. So the um, guard that I put on, or the dust shield. This thing is absolutely phenomenal for keeping blow, I call it blowback from um, in between where the guard is in the mower uh, deck, the edge of it. Pretty much nothing comes back up on you. I was having problems before I uh, had used one of these on this shoot blocker. Uh, it would blow back a little bit, which is, but it Hey, it creates a perfect seal now. Plus, it gives a little cushion to the um, to the flap when it uh, goes down to its seated position. Love the green guard. I appreciate Jeremiah getting the parts out so fast to me. Like I said in the beginning of the video, um, he answered my email within a couple hours, and I had the parts. I think by uh, see that was I think I had the parts three days later. So. Very good. I'm very happy that it's uh, back in order because let me tell you something. When this thing is not <laughs> working good, trying to do leaf, oh, it's horrible. This will completely make a leaf cleanup probably, I'm going to say 50% better because nothing is going to get out of there at all. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. And if you have any questions about this at all, you are more than welcome to... Uh, leave me a comment. And um, with that being said, I will see you guys on the next video.